Yo, what is up guys? I'm here today with a live reaction to that One Piece Greatness episode 751 new arc more greatness. Let's jump right into this EXO. <laughs> yes! No more filler. This is the you know canon stuff now. Like I'm assuming because someone told me this is the new arc. Yes. Yes. I don't know what this arc is though, you know? Like I don't know. But you know I'm just expecting greatness. And I know this has to do with Kaido, so you were gonna see more Kaido greatness in this arc or something. Or, you know, we're gonna see him more. We're gonna meet up with the other Straw Hats. You know, I feel like it's better when the whole crew is together. And I'm talking about everyone in the crew, because it's like you laugh more, the experience is better. Everyone just, you know, communicates so well together. Is that just me, or do I feel the same way? Like, like, or I mean, do you feel the same way? Do I feel the same way? What the heck am I saying? Or do you feel the same way? Like, when you have all the straw hats, Luffy, Zoro, Nami, Robin, Usopp, Brooke, Chopper, you know, like, Frankie, if you have all of them, tell me it's not better, like, when they're all together, because it's, like, more fun, more enjoyable, we go through so much more things together, Sanji, all of them like that, I'm so hyped right now. I want to see what's here for me, what's in store, how is it going to start off? I still have to get used to this opening. I like the when it gets to the hook point of the opening, that's what's sick, like when it gets to the hook. I just want to watch it. I don't even want to watch the opening right now. Like, I'm so anxious. You know, I just want to start this. <laughs> like, I'm just here like, damn, when is it going to start? Like, I'm so anxious. And you know, I was talking to people, like, they told me, do you think Luffy will have another gear, like, gear 5 or something? You know, honestly, I don't think so, because look, he has gear 2, gear 3, and gear 4. Those are just powerful, if you ask me. And if he just keeps, you know, trying to make them better and better, I feel like they're gonna, what the heck, I just knocked the earphone off my ear? They're gonna get better, I feel like they're gonna get stronger, and I feel like gear 4 should be the max, but I don't even care if they add more gears, that would be sick. Oh, snap! I forgot what that monster was called when Shanks saved Luffy. Losing an arm. I forgot what that sea creature was called. I, I forget, like, it has a certain name. I forgot it. Get lost! Don't hurt my friends! <laughs> that stare! That stare! You lost your arm for your friend? It just shows you the type of person Shanks is. You know what I'm trying to say? He lost an arm for his friend right there to save him. I wonder if he could have did something else that time to stop this like could he have just do something but you know he gave his body for a friend and it shows you shanks had haki back then too how he was able to you know who's up dad beckham ben beckham yasup i think that's what usap's dad name is like that's his dad's name yasup I want Usopp to see his dad. That would be too sick. Once we become king of pirates, we'll bring it.
So, look, I love this cover art right there. That was beautiful. Barto <laughs> I can't stop laughing at their ship. He's telling stories already of our, like the past journey we were in. They're all, we you know, like straw hat fanboys. Oh, how did he find people like this? Like, what was his like request? Like, oh, you just have to be a straw hat fan and you can join. He's telling the story. Pirate Hunter. So he's telling us all their stories. All right, that's sick. How he, we all met and everything. Well, it was sweet, right? She made it sweet, I think, right? Like the rice ball. Kobe. I miss Kobe. We need to see the homie Kobe. It's been a while. Yeah, you need to have the greatest swordsman in the world to be the pirate king because you're king of all pirates. Your crew needs to be the best. Zoro was the day one, the first member to join. You know, I always get so happy watching these back. Zoro was the number one person to join, you know, the first, how everything started, our journey on that little ship we used to have and shit. The Nami. To, stay, to save her town. You know, I never hated any of the One Piece villains, to be honest with you. Like, even the Arlong, and you know, like, they did bad things. Arlong, Doflamingo, Crocodile, I never hated them. Is that, like, what about you guys? Like, do you hate them? Like, I don't hate them. They, actually, if you ask me, they were pretty beast. Like, those characters. I mean, there were times, like, what they were doing, I didn't, I don't agree with what they did, though. I was mad, but you know, I never hated them. The only person I really hated from One Piece is one person, and that's Akinu. And he's a marine, which is ironic. A good guy, I hate the good guys. But I also hate the Celestial Dragons. They're just, you know, despicable creatures. They're effed up in every single way. There's not one good one, in, except Doflamingo's dad. Doflamingo's parents were great Celestial Dragons. <laughs> it didn't show Usopp how we met Usopp oh all right now it is I felt like Usopp should have been first then it should have went to Nami the biggest liar in the village Wait, Kuro? Oh, yeah! 
Kuro and Django were the enemies here. Kaya. You know, this is why, you know, I've seen that it said One Piece is 65% done. And when I think about it, it's like, you know, there's still so much left in One Piece. So it is good that it's 65% done. Lou, you know, like, Luffy has so much to fulfill. Everyone has so much to fulfill. You know, like, just watching these back and it shows you, like, oh, wow, look at how many years have passed. And still, everything hasn't been fulfilled. It's great. I love the series. I want to watch this till I die. You know what I mean? Like, if I die and watch One Piece, I'll be happy. I mean, I don't want to die, you know you know what I mean? But I want to watch One Piece forever type shit. I'll take One Piece with me to the grave. Dead Sanji. Barati, right? The restaurant's name was Barati Gin. When they gave him food. And then, you know, Don Krieg comes like, what the F? That got me mad. Because, you know, he just helped Gin, your crew member, and you're going to come here like that? Zeph. Sanji's story was so sad. We all have dreams we want to fulfill. You saw how happy he got when he talked about the all blue, that smile. I'm surprised they didn't show Patty and Carne. <laughs> Chopper. <laughs> you know when you first meet Chopper, he was so adorable. Cause he's so like he's like he's so scared of us. Dr. Hiluk, Dr. Kura, Wapo. Wapo is the worst king there ever was in the world. Literally, you saw how he's so selfish. How do you take all the doctors to a point where no one can get help? You know, related, like, if they're sick, they're just gonna die and shit. That's evil, beyond evil, like, worst king ever. Robin's next. <laughs> Bart <laughs> Chill out, Bartolomeo. This is story time right here. I'm loving this. I'm loving this right here. You see how they do this right here, the halfway point? I love this. I just love it so much because it reminds me of like the older One Piece, like when they used to have it like that, when they would show you the wanted poster. Yep. They can't even believe it. Frankie. So 
I know that was corny, guys. I'm sorry. <laughs> I can tell that was so corny. And it's like, you know, we got Frankie and Robin at the same time when you think about it. That was good. Like, two birds, one stone. And even if you want to count Usopp, because Usopp left the crew at that point, like, he wasn't with us. So we got Usopp as well. But, I mean, I really don't count Usopp, because it's like, really, Usopp was always in the crew, you know what I'm trying to say? Luchi, Rob Luchi. You know, I feel like we're gonna see him in this arc. I really feel it. Cause look, they're showing him a lot lately. I watched the movie, um, you know, the not the movie, but the special Heart of Gold. And Rob Luchi was in it. And now, you know, earlier, a few episodes ago, Rob Luchi was revealed again. Like earlier, you know, he was revealed. So it's like they keep revealing him. I don't know what to say. Like they're hinting something. One hundred year void. That's one, you know, the fact that they would kill a whole town, you know, kill the whole island. Like, you know, not the whole island, but the archaeologists of the whole island because of the hundred year void. You know, from what we've seen there, we could automatically already assume. Like, you know what I'm trying to say? Like, we can, we know the world government has did something bad. Brook. Laboon. We need to see him again. There's so many people we need to see again. I wonder, is it just going to tell us this, how we met, or is it going to go into 3D2Y? I love this OST. He <laughs> just said, oh, can, can I join your crew? Oh, yeah, you can join. <laughs> like, <laughs> They're all crying. Fair points to the max. Oh, that's all. Wow, we're trying. <laughs> oh my god, you know what's so cool? They're like, let's get Luffy to Zoe safely. Yeah, the lightning just. <laughs> Kizaru! Oh, Sep. Kizaru, the biggest troll ever. Biggest troll alive is Kizaru. Yeah, what should we do? Huh? Edward Nugget's biological son. I want to see who that is. And the fact that he would say something like that. The Marines are going to come for your ass, bro. Yeah. <laughs> Who's this grandma they always talk about? Like, I wanted to see her legendary, you know, like, life lessons. 
Gum is not helping at all. Uh oh, please. No, he's not drunk. The law is still with us, that's great. <laughs> Frankie, uh oh. It's done for you, bro. They all know about you. Yeah, we have to go. We can't not avoid this. <laughs> what do we go? The navies are after you, Usopp, like crazy. This is a good episode. Story time with Bartolomeo. That was too fun. All right. I'm surprised the Marines never mistaken them for the straw hats or some shit like oh wait what the straw hat Luffy on the ship and just attack What uh, can I see? Wow What? That looks like a huge elephant, right? Wait, what? I can't barely see anything! Elephant? It is a huge elephant! So zoo means elephant? Zoo. That's why it was moving, maybe? So this is everyone's first? Good! This is amazing! <laughs> is this all you have to say? Give Straw Hat Yas some food? You have to get him? And it still moves? Damn, that elephant can live a long life? Yeah, right? Like, that's what I'm thinking of? A thousand years? So what happens when the elephant dies? Is it is it immortal or like no? Like the elephant could die, and what would happen if the elephant dies? Like it would just stay in one place from now on. Wow, you know I really love this episode. I'm not even gonna lie, guys. This episode was too real when you had Bartolomeo giving the story time with the straw hats and everything of that sort. It was just too beastly. And you know when you see all the old characters we met there and all the journeys we went through and how far we made it, and you still think to yourself like, "Wow, it is only 65% done. We're not even close to anything right now." Luffy still didn't meet Dragon. You know Usopp didn't re meet Kaya. Usopp didn't see his father. We didn't give Shanks the hat. We didn't become a great pirate yet. We're not pirate king yet. There's so many great things. Zoro didn't become the best swordsman. You know, we haven't seen the all blue. It just shows you how much more story there is. Nami didn't write the whole maps of the whole world. You know, it's like, wow, we didn't find out about the hundred year void. It's just, you know, too many things. We didn't meet Laboon. You can see the story just has more and more and more to 
to go on with. So it's just epic, and this was a great episode to see. Bartholomew's stories are on point. I hope we can get more, maybe in the future or something. Like maybe the 3D 2 wise stories from him or something like that. That would be beastly. I'm not even gonna lie, that would be too epic. And we finally make it to Zoo Island, and that shit is just an elephant. A thousand year old elephant! You know, that's, I'm not even gonna lie, like, that's legit cool right there. An elephant that lives a thousand years. And the fact that, you know, the island, it can move any location. So that shows you how rare this is. This is a rare sighting for us. We should just hop on this elephant adventure. Because, you know, the Straw Hats have adventured in many places. Some pirates who are in the Grand Line would have never went. Skypea, you see, that no one believed that shit. They thought, like, wow, we went in the, um, what was that thing, the Rainbow Void again? I forgot what it was called. Remember when we went in that thing, like, that it keeps sending you back the same route you took? Like, I forgot what it's called. It, it was like a portal type thing. We went in there before, and it kept sending us back the same route, back and forth, back and forth, back and forth. Yeah, we went in there, and now we're gonna go on this. We went to Moria's Mass, you know, his island and shit, Thriller Bark. So you see, we've been through so many places, You know, and this is what makes adventuring great. A thousand year old elephant. There might be a poneglyph here. That's what I'm saying. Think about it. There might be a poneglyph here. You know, when we went to Skypea, there was one. Here, there might be one. I don't know. I'm just assuming automatically there might be a poneglyph here. But who knows what could happen. This is just too great. I want to meet with the full crew and everything like that. Oh my gosh, I'm so happy, guys. Thank you for watching. Don't forget to like and subscribe. Peace out.